Hi guys, rubber band power time. I'm going to make a rubber band powered car from these two, uh, what are they called? Recorders, I think. Plastic ones, I think they came from Poundland originally. Uh, our grandsons were playing with them over Christmas. Uh, <laughs> so we'd like to get rid of them. Um, they're a bit noisy. I've just been experimenting. This is the plastic tube off a ball pen. And I've just wrapped some rubber bands around it to hold it in place at the front. These tubes at the back are bits of paper wrapped round and round and glued. I used that for one of my recent projects. So I've just wrapped rubber bands around that to hold it in place. I think I need to add another cross member here just to steady it up a little bit. I might find one a bit smaller than that, otherwise that's going to stick out and hit the wheels. I'm going to reuse these wheels that I made on a recent rubber band powered car project. They're just thick card, so I just drew circles and cut them out. Um, that's actually super glued onto the barbecue skewer. I've had to hit it quite hard to get that one off, but I did manage to get it off eventually. So I can reuse it. So that's going to go through there. And we'll have another one on there. That cardboard, oh, paper tube I made there is pretty strong. I actually had to use the saw to cut it. So, quite impressed with that. That's pretty rigid. So, I'll put that on there. So, as I say, you need a, a fairly narrow piece of wood there. I suppose. Yeah. Let's see if I've got a smaller piece. Yeah, that piece should be about the right length, same length as the plastic tube. So, put it in there, rubber band round the back, over the top, back onto there. I'm using the holes that are in there just as points to line them up on. So over there, round. Over, back round there. To adjust this a little bit later. I think we get the general idea. Over there, round, over there. enough space there to be able to wrap the rubber band around in the middle. <laughs> I'm trying to do it so you can see what I'm doing. I 
that's the basic idea. Trying to do this as far as possible without any um, glue. Plenty of rubber bands. Double up. I think we've got the general idea there anyway. to go through there. All right, that needs twisting a little bit. Yeah, that looks okay. Probably put a bit more glue on there to hold it in place. And these front wheels, they were cut from thick card, it was actually a book cover. Right, so we should be able to join a few rubber bands together. How many do we want? Probably another one. So through, pull it through the loop. Pull it through the loop. Yeah, that should be long enough. So round the axle, push it through the loop. On the back axle, over, run it round so it goes underneath itself, so that holds it in place. Looks like we've got a worker.
summery time. What have we got? A couple of plastic recorders or flutes or pipes, call them what you like. As far as I know they're recorders. Uh, plastic tube from a ball pen for the front axle tube. Paper tubes made up by wrapping paper round a rod and gluing it as you went and that's made a very hard tube that I actually had to saw in half to give us the gap in the middle for the access to the axle. Another bit of uh, bamboo skewer there just as a cross member to help hold it straight because it does twist a bit because we're not using any glue here on the connections it's just rubber bands holding it all together. Uh, back axle barbecue skewer or bamboo skewer, front axle bamboo skewer. The wheels made from thick card, just drew a circle, cut them out. And that's it, my latest rubber band powered car.